Hello, everyone. Listen, we've got sort of a weird little episode of Weird Little Indies happening right now. This is going to take the form of a live stream. However, it is pre-recorded, and there's good reason for that. So I wanted to talk a little bit about it and then tell you a little bit about why it's also a weird little episode in other ways. Uh, first off, today, the day that this video is out, uh, there will be a birthday raid train. It's four streamers and head to my Instagram or my Twitch uh, or my Discord. You'll see some announcements about it there. But there's four streamers, me included, so three people and me. And we are streaming on Twitch uh, February 4th, starting at 10 a.m. with my friend Spicy Meat Brawl uh, over on Twitch. I'll link all this information down below um, at 10 a.m. She's going to be playing Fall Guys. Uh, and then we move to, to one. And my friend Optimus is going to be doing a Lego build. At 4 p.m., my friend the Tommy Cox will be doing a game called Gato Roboto, which is a really cute indie game. And then I'm actually going to be playing this on Twitch uh, at 7 p.m. So if you can make it, I would love to have you there. Uh, but that being said... There's a lot of prep to do for the big day. My birthday is next week and I could have not made a video or I could have like done less prep for the birthday stream. There's a lot going on. I didn't have a lot of time. And I thought, you know, instead of not making a video, let me put something out there. And so I thought we would just revisit. Well, okay, if you're watching Weird Little Indies and you've never been to my stream, then you don't know what game you're, you might be looking at. You, you may know of it. If you do, we're best friends. Uh, but if you don't know about this game, it's a roguelike called Played Up. And there are maps that you can like get and you cook. It's a little bit like Overcooked, except you get to plan what you're making. And there's a lot of reasons I love the game. And I thought, why not share it with my weird little indie family? I am also a very proud Yogscast uh, Games ambassador. So this is uh, published by Yogscast Games. Well, they have a, a new game coming out called Aces and Adventures. And once I'm able to make some content about that, you know it'll be up here too. Because of all the games Yogscast uh, Games has published, this one and Aces and Adventures so far have been my favorite. Whenever there's been a playtest I can do uh, for Aces and Adventures, I've been there. But let's, look, let's hop right in. Let's go, I'm gonna do a small camera. I'm just down here, it's just small heck. Uh, if you don't know me, my name's Heck. This is Weird Little Indies. We look at different strange little indie games uh, every week here on this YouTube channel. This is one of my favorites, it does it when I first look at it, I'm like, you know what? This doesn't look like much for a game, right? This this doesn't look like, uh, it's not super polished. There's no crazy art style. You know, it's, it's really just, um, it's, I, I almost think graphically, it's a little bit bare bones in some ways. And I think that maybe, uh, Maybe the art is a thing I think that they could update a little bit and and really hammer in, you know, a good look for it. But listen, here's what you do in this game, okay? Now, these are my test subjects, these kitties here. But in this kitchen right here, they're set up for steak. You cook it once for rear, twice for medium, and three times for well done. So, you'll see here, we'll put a plate there. This is a rare steak. If I cook it a longer time, it becomes medium. And then if I cook it even more, it is now a well done steak. Now, if I was to cook it more, it would burn. Gotta clean the floor. When it's messy, I'll trip over it. Uh, but you take orders. And of course, neither of these cats want what I've made. So we'll just 
make up some fresh steaks. Now this is definitely not an advanced guide. Uh, my friend have some lemur who I uh, think is one of the best people at this game. Uh, really knows what they're doing. I'll link his YouTube down below. Uh, he's absolutely wonderful. I, I look up to him in this game. So you can see now walking through here, I kind of stutter and slow. After a guest eats, you have to wash their plate. And you can put it up or you can do whatever with it. Uh, and you can see the cats are waiting again for that table to be cleared. But we're not going to bother with the, the practicing. We're going to look at... What the, that is a weird layout. Uh, I hate it. We're not going to use that layout. This layout, honestly, might not be too bad. I really like that back kitchen. Um, we could also do something smaller. You know, I tend to go for this one if I'm doing a small solo run that won't last for a long time. But let's, let's go with this weekly theme. Now, uh, this weekly theme does deal with, uh, why can't I put this down? Uh-oh, I think I'm having like a controller issue maybe? Oh, I was putting it over menu, wow. Um, Oh, turkey would be difficult, but I never, you know what? I never make turkey. Let's try it. I've never done it. Um, now in here is my, uh, it's basically where you keep just extras that you get. So there's like an extra counter I could use or some, some hearts. Now, one thing I could do is take this counter and put it over here. And then I could take this upgrade kit that I've got. I could put it right there, press the button, and I think it will upgrade the counter. And I might get either a freezer or a workstation. I think I got a freezer. Freezer's not the most helpful, but we'll take one with us. Uh, let's go. So you can see it's a bit different than overcooked. You get a lot of say-so in what you're doing. So we have to cook the turkey, slice into four portions. Uh, so that's all we have to do there. Turkey does have some other stuff. We'll talk about it later. Uh, but you can kind of see from this layout that uh, I have a lot of control over, over what my restaurant looks like. So I'm able to set things up the way that I want, which is really, really nice. Now I tend to, on a solo mission, uh, I tend to set things up in a way where you can see my expected groups is three. My group size is one to two. That's over in the corner here. I think you can see where my mouse is. Uh, so what we're doing is I'm gonna set it up so that I can wait on people pretty easily and not have to leave the kitchen. Um, okay, and I got a freezer, which, you know, that'll, that'll help a little bit. Okay, so this is where the turkey goes, or where the turkey comes from, sorry. What do I cook the turkey in? Ooh, an oven. Okay. You'll see what the freezer does in a moment. I'm not going to explain everything right at the start. Uh, but I, I did want to get through some of the explanation of what the game is. Now, this is also a multiplayer game. It, it probably, if I have to be like honest, works better as a, a multiplayer game. Okay. This is probably spread a little too far apart. Now the phones will help me book an appointment. So basically I'll be able to call people in to eat faster and I get money if I call them in sooner. Um, but it is more of a challenge also. Let's do this. You know what, let's just try. I'm gonna cook a turkey. So there you go and here come people and they're all dressed up. So there's one turkey. Now, while that is doing that. I use sinks as counters. Okay, that's done. Set that over there. 
So we take an order. They both just want turkey. Great. Uh, and this one person wants turkey. We've got one more group coming in, remember. I'm gonna go ahead and just be kind of cheeky and call for that group. Now they're gonna have to wait outside because there's no free tables until right now. And it is two of them. Now, I think the turkey's dead, right? Yeah, there's no more turkey there, but there is turkey here. Now what I'm gonna do is cook a whole, cause this turkey is like half done, right? And this is just the carcass of a turkey. We gotta throw it out. We're gonna have to, you'll see that, that bin comes with its own problems, but there's a cooked turkey for tomorrow. Now that I've got that done, we feed them. Now they make a mess, but messes only slow you down. That's all they do. So you don't really have to worry about cleaning up the messes out of the dining room if you're not walking there. It only affects you if you're walking in the mess. So pretty easy. So we did day one. Uh, look, our booking desk got us six extra coins. Uh, the turkey was 25 and um, we had player count bonus eight since I was just the only player. Got a little bonus. So I got 39 coins. Um, the music though, I will say the music, absolutely delightful. Now, we have big decisions that we have to make, okay? This research desk, you absolutely, we absolutely have to get it, okay? Because this blueprint cabinet that I've been sitting here not talking about, it's very important. Now you can see when I pick up the research desk, the filing cabinet has nothing on top of it, but when I put it down, it has a little green jar. Well, that jar means if I put this hob in there, and a hob, you can kind of see, look, it's pretty explainable. It gives you one fire, so it cooks food for you. I put that in there, and it will uh, upgrade that if I use this desk during my next day. No worries, I'll show you, you know, how it works in just a few. Now, one thing I want to do, we're making all this room, but turkey carcasses, those are a thing, so we want to make sure that we have... We have that ready to go. Okay, so I think we're good. We're good to start our day. Let me go ahead and do my research. I usually try to knock it out first uh, solo because you know we're waiting for people to come in. And the cool thing is I can just serve them because remember our freezer had a turkey in it. Now we got a couple turkeys, they're leaving. We're ready to serve another couple people. We're ready to serve everybody for the day, honestly. So what I'm gonna do, let's go ahead and call the other people in. We might as well, right? Day's not over yet. Call more people in. So see, you get used to kind of like being able to serve people now. This is the last person. Nobody touched that turkey that I cooked this morning. So we're just gonna put it in the freezer. We'll feed them. You don't have to clean up the last dish of the day, but I always feel like I win if I clean the last dish up, you know? Gotta keep an eye on the time. I really wanna keep these videos to the time that I have allotted them to be. Okay, so there's a couple decisions. Now, first off, we did get a danger hob. Danger hob cooks twice as fast, uh, but it catches fire after it burns food. I don't necessarily need or can't afford a danger hob. I'm gonna upgrade a sink because I could get something that washes dishes a little faster. I do love a conveyor belt, but I don't have a big use for a conveyor belt as of yet. It feels bad to pass up on it, but I am gonna upgrade my plates. Oh, friends, 
feels bad to pass up on that conveyor belt. So maybe, maybe what we do, actually, I don't want these. Maybe what we do is pass up on the, because we'll get more sinks. This is me talking from experience. We'll know, we know we're going to get more sinks. Conveyor belts are kind of rare. So we're going to, oh, I hate this. I wish I could just switch blueprints easily. Let's give that up. Let's put that in there. I almost want to buy a hob because it's a little bit easier to manage, I think, than the oven. I don't really want the danger hob. Not right now. Okay. We're just going to make a smart grabber because there's a lot we can do with the smart grabber early on. Okay, so now the turkey can just sit there. This can go here for carving. We'll just keep going. You know, the nice thing is you get kind of a rhythm. And so I'm trying to multitask as much as possible, right? Like I have a feeling I'll go through more turkey today. You know what? I'm gonna put plates on both sides of this. Put that there, do another phone call or two. We might as well, right? We'll let everybody be able to come inside. I do wish that the freezer required you to cook again. Cause like, you know, we're just giving people like cold turkey. But, eh, such as it is. I also wish freezers held more, but we can get prep stations and they will hold up to four things. Uh, we need to work on upgrading a bin because our expected groups is only gonna go up. Now, we got to a star. So let's talk about stars. We're gonna upgrade our restaurant and get better rewards, but also, here's the thing. Every star can introduce sort of a complication into your plan, right? Because I'm not always making turkey. Now, I might have to add st stuffing to it or cranberry sauce. Huh, I have never done turkey. I'm gonna do cranberry sauce, I think. But you can see, well, I, I passed it a bit too soon, but uh, there was a little minus 15 icon at the bottom. That means I'm gonna have 15% less people come in but I'm gonna get more experience for those people. I'm also gonna earn more money. Um, so, chop cranberries, add sugar. Oh, that's it? We don't have to cook? I wanna practice with this, and also our kitchen's gonna have to be... changed around a little bit. We'll just make a little crayon, a crayon corner. These dang, these dang things. Okay. Actually, that can go there. Yeah, we can still reach stuff. Another hob. I don't know if these need to be cooked though. Also, this has turned into a grabber, which means it can pick things up off of tables. What I'm looking for right now, uh, we can make it just a grabber. I think we could get benefit from just a grabber. Um, it, Not really yet, but soon we'll get benefit. Let's go ahead and put the sink in there. See, we got another sink. As I had said, let's just put the grabber down here for now. Um, and I want these plates right here. Look at that. Now, now we're talking service. All right, let's just, uh, let's practice actually. So if you go to the menu, they added this. You can go from the menu. I just want to practice making 
So that's sugar. We gotta chop the cranberries, put in the sugar. Now, see, I could, I could wait on them at any moment, but right now they've got a timer over their head and the longer I can make all of their timers go, the better, right? So what I'm doing is not getting them because you want to utilize the full amount of time that each guest has. Now, I can wait on them because I need to see. Okay. Oh, wow. It's for each individual portion. We need a prep station then. Okay. We can leave practice mode now. I'm confident, though, that the day will go okay. Uh, what it does mean is I want to get this cooking. I want to do this. Go ahead and get that upgraded. And I want to make a couple of these and just, you know, kind of have them ready, right? All right. And they just want turkey. Fabulous. So we know they're just going to want turkey as well, but they want cranberry sauce with their turkey, which is understandable. Cranberry sauce is actually pretty delicious. All right, let's get caught up on some dishes. I normally would be able to call, but I want to... I want to have both my tables open. We expect four groups. Let's get them in here. Okay, they want cranberry sauce, so we'll do a little cranberry. You know, doing only three is not so bad, and they just want regular turkey. I wish we had a prep station to save the cranberry sauce that we have made. All right, that didn't go too bad. That really didn't go too bad at all. So let's uh, let's let's just keep it going. Now I do know we got a dishwasher. I don't really want a dishwasher, so I'm gonna I'm gonna probably re-upgrade this dishwasher. So the dishwasher holds four plates at one time. And when you interact with it, it'll just take a little time and it'll wash those four dishes. Hey, you know what? There's nothing better else. There's nothing else I want to upgrade. Let's just do, let's just put the dishwasher there. It's fine. Now I'm keeping the sink and you might think, well, heck, you don't really need the sink, but at some point there may be a recipe that needs water and the dishwasher cannot be used to um, provide water for cooking, right? None of the upgraded sinks are able to be used. Now, uh, let's take this. We're gonna take the hob, mostly because I just don't like starting my day without something in the blueprint folder. I got another danger hob. So not my favorite, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and make cranberry sauce. It's interesting because your food doesn't actually take away from your, your costs for the day. All right, what do y'all want? Y'all both want turkey with cranberry sauce. Now I'm having to do a lot of running here, which I don't like. So we're gonna have to figure that part out. All right, and you just want plain turkey. Now, dishes, easy. Now I can run and do a phone call or two, right? I'm gonna throw a turkey on. I don't know that we have 
enough. Okay, they were first. Turkey and cranberry sauce. You got it. So I went ahead and just fixed both of those plates. I don't think I can fit more than one turkey in the fridge. No. Nope. And now I'm being slow. I, I have the time. I'm not I'm just not going to panic. You both want turkey. Cranberry sauce. If you want. But th these little extra steps. There's probably a way with the grabber we could automate. Okay, so now we've gotten to the, we've ended the day that's the little banner with the star. So we get to pick our theme. Theme is kind of a fun round. Uh, and you can see they've, they've moved to listing all of these on the side. So you know exactly what they do. So we've got exclusive, which will make people wait longer to get inside of our restaurant. Uh, then they give extra money and then queues will stop table patients from decreasing, which is nice. Uh, you still have to worry about the queue, but the table patience itself won't be as bad. Uh, you've got decreased eating time on affordable, if you want affordable. People get in and they get out because it's just like fast food. Uh, table consumables have a chance to be reused. Uh, we don't really have any of those. And halves eating time, but there is no uh, serving phase. So... I'm going to go with exclusive because I like the decorations better for exclusives. You heard me right. There are decorations. So you get um, wallpaper and floors. So there's one wallpaper. There's the other. I really like this wallpaper. I'm going to put it outside. No, no, it's inside because I see my absolute favorite floor over here. I don't want to use that in the kitchen because I'm greedy. Oh, look at that kitchen. It's so nice looking now, right? Okay. Every holiday, they've been doing like updates, which are really, really fun and really cool. And so for this holiday, it's it's uh, the, the Chinese New Year. So they're giving you free rabbit posters on every... Uh, on every decoration day and lanterns all right got a bit of a darker theme now for the things that cost money and they're not always separated like that that was just luck of the draw statues are nice because they will give you um just you know a lot of stuff but they also take up floor space and they cost a lot i can't afford one of those but i could start working toward my first goal by maybe buying some paintings and you know you can put paintings anywhere in your restaurant they don't even have to be out here um but we'll get a painting we'll get a candelabra it's a very oh oh the candelabra is a uh floor item dang it that's right chandelier is what i should have got well it's all right we'll put a candelabra back here so now we've got two out of three. So one more of those decorations when we get the money will increase our Q patience, which will be really nice. Let's start our next day, I guess. We, you know, we can't really upgrade any of these. I don't really want this danger hob uh, that I upgraded. So we'll just keep on working. We'll just keep hustling and getting our money. Sometimes I'm not as efficient as I want to be. Oh gosh. There you sit in there. What would you like, sir? So now you can see we have somebody waiting outside at the bottom of my screen. So we want to make sure we 
Uh, sometimes it's better just to get people in and out. All right, they just want turkey. Bless them for an easy order. Okay. Uh, let's get another turkey on the grill, just in case. You never know. So now we can run the dishwasher. We'll throw this carcass away. We want to get a bigger bin. All right, and they just want that. Just call up a bunch of our friends and tell them to come on. Get some turkey for them. Clean up the kitchen. Yeah. So in the morning staff will have fresh dishes. Uh, we got two stars. Come on. Now you can see at the top line here, uh, there's a paintbrush. So that will be another round like this, but we just get decorations to help up our uh, exclusiveness. And then right here is day 15. I don't know that we'll make it all the way through to day 15 in this video, uh, but day 15 means you've basically beaten the run and it's a franchise, but overtimes start. And so you get more cards and it just keeps getting crazier. Um, by that point, you want some automation, like the conveyor belt I've got right there is a good, you know, sort of just a good way to make sure you're always automating something. Um, I just happened to think, but like we could always have I just thought of a way we could do some small automation. Oh no, corn on the cob as a side or pumpkin pies as a dessert option. Okay, we're really gonna, both of these involve um, the trash. That's not great because we've kind of boxed ourselves in on purpose. I've done that, but now we're gonna need to not do that because I'm gonna need to be able to take the trash out or at least sit it on counters. So. I think of both of these choices, I'm going to choose corn on the cob because it's less stuff in my kitchen, right? So we're going to do that. To enter ask, husk, interact to husk, cook and serve. So we're going to have this husk that we have to throw away. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. I'm really quite upset about it. Uh, but let's just, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to... We're gonna make a little tunnel right there. And there's a bin. Okay, good, 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 good. The bin is what we what we needed. Okay, so this bin, we're gonna upgrade it. Cause we're gonna need help with trash. You see, I do this every time. Listen, uh, played up devs, if you're watching this, please make it so that I can just swap the blueprints instead of move the whole thing. I know it's not consistent. I don't care. Uh, I'm buying another hob also. Uh, and that hob is going to go right here so that I can cook corn a little more easily. And we'll just, we'll see how that goes. Oh no, I had an idea. I don't know that I'll be able to, to do it. We don't need the sink. We could just always be making chicken. The grabber will pick up the chicken and put it on the grill. Until we get a safety hob, it's not the best. Oh, it feels, it feels, it feels not great friends okay here's what we're here's what we're actually doing we're gonna have nope that won't work yet either let's not worry about let's we don't need to optimize that right now we're optimizing things that we don't we don't need okay
I guess we're ready. <laughs> Let's upgrade this bin. Let's get a uh, turkey going. As you can see, this is going to be a whole thing. Okay. You want this with, of course, I need to make... Oh, I'm about to burn that. Oh, I saved it. Okay. Oh, friends, friends, friends. I think corn has blown my mind and this kitchen is not set up well. All right, and they just want, look, everybody's ordering simple. And I think that's really nice. We're not using that phone today, can tell you that much. I have to focus. I'm so sorry. I know I should be talking more. I'm trying to tell you my thoughts as I do them. Like this thought is, oh crap. Where am I going to put this turkey when it's done cooking? All right. What do y'all want? Oh my gosh. Nobody wants, nobody just wants like some corn. Everybody wants some um, turkey with cranberry sauce. All right, so I'm gonna throw this away, right? Well, now that bin is actually full. So, if I have to husk more, somebody better order some of my corn. Nobody's ordering it yet. And let me tell you, I'm offended. You know, I work hard to put corn on this table. I don't know if somebody else is coming in, but you never know. Oh, somebody does want corn. Listen, thank you. They also, however, want cranberry sauce. Oh. All right, let's make some cranberry sauce. Start their timer over. There we go. That was a lot. We're going to have to consolidate where we slice from. Uh, I got an idea. Winning it. I'm always winning it here. Oh, a power sink. All right, what is that? Yes, a compactor. I think it's a compactor bin. I'm not sure what it said. Uh, it could be a compost bin as well, and that's fine. We basically will just be able to cook our trash. Uh, I know it sounds awful, but trust me, it, it's a very good way to get rid of stuff. Uh, I definitely want a power sink. You know, I didn't think before I bought this power sink that I actually don't need. Well, here it is, I guess. Uh, what am I doing? I got the power sink because it's my favorite sink. And then I just realized I'm using a dishwasher with no problems whatsoever. Uh, I would love a safety hop, though. Um. Okay, so we bought a useless... Uh, power sink this level. Um, I 
Trust me. You're going to see what I'm doing and you're going to be like, oh. We're putting the corn over here too. I'm kind of wondering. This, this place feels like a mess. It feels like a mess to me. Uh, we could get another dining room table. I could put it right here. Actually, it's not a bad idea. Yeah, I think I like this setup. I've got a little extra garbage can over there. I can always run out to take trash out. I've got plates right here. Yeah. Let's just go. All right, watch. I'm gonna put that on, get it cooking. Safety hob? No, danger hobs. All day danger hobs. All right, what kind of trash compactor are you? Okay, you're the kind that I cook. I'm just gonna put that in the sink. All right, uh, and they're fine to wait for a moment, right? Like we don't have to like serve them super early, but you can see what I'm doing here, which is nice, is I'm just getting a couple of cranberry sauces made up and over here. So it's just a bit better at making me run less when I need it. And I actually probably could, uh, I can't really peel that anywhere. So note to self, I need a, an extra counter there. So they're going to want a corn. They both want cranberry. Let's go ahead and get another turkey over there for them. So we'll pair that with corn and that with cranberry. And then we'll get their order to them. See, listen, once you get a system, it usually ends up working out all right. A safety hob would, would be really good for these turkeys because they take a long time to cook. Um, and actually, I see a use for a power washer now. All right, turkey and turkey. Well, they're easy. All right, and I've got that extra turkey. So really, let's just put this turkey over here. You just want some turkey with some cranberry sauce. Look at that. All right, I feel okay about the layout. I wish it had a little bit, uh, a little bit more table, but or a little bit more counter space. And I could probably move my upgrades off to the side and then just have a lot of counter. That's what I'm gonna do. So it's all about planning. We're gonna do one more day for the video. We're gonna get up to three stars uh, today, but I hope you can kind of see why I like this game. There's there's so much to do. Uh, let me show you one more feature. First, I'm gonna buy a coffee table. Coffee tables let people sit and wait for a table so they won't be outside where their patience is much more thin. Now, I want a safety hob. We've got five cards. I could try to upgrade, but because I want to show you this, there is also reroll blueprints. If we reroll, sometimes we get, oh, we got a prep station. Okay, so we're gonna upgrade a prep station. 
There are some other cool cards, but this one stores up to four things. So that would be really good for corn. We could make four things of corn because I think, you know, cooking that takes time. But if we have four things of corn ready, we could throw two turkeys on in a day, be done with our cooking, you know, and then just prep corn. You've got a uh, floor protector, which will basically just stop mess from happening. And to be honest, let's we'll put one down there. Uh, the display stand will force people to buy. Well, it's a force. It influences purchasing decisions for the food that you're displaying. Trainers, you can move faster through like the kitchen. However, if you go through mess, you walk normal speed. Um, also water, which is kind of a big letdown. Uh, and it spreads mess that you walk over. And then the flower pot, bonus patience, and they leave happy, but they will change their order. Uh, I said I was gonna rearrange. So let's do it. Let's rearrange a little bit, huh? All right. Actually, we'll put that right there. Let's get our prep station. We're gonna upgrade it so it becomes a frozen prep station. I like to turn things that have blueprints in them toward the camera, just so that like, you know, it's just a little bit easier. Just makes it easier to, to be able to see what's going on. Um, I don't much care about the phone. So we're going to leave that where it is. The garbage can right there. Yeah. Also, also. Power sink can go right there. Uh, which means there's quite the horizontal run and I don't really love that, but it is what it is in this level. And I think I'm, I think I'll get over it. Okay. Let's try this, but see, it's so different than overcooked because you're always tweaking your layout and it doesn't really feel like, um, it's trying to get you to mess up more as it's, it's trying to make an interesting dining experience. But let's see if we can get that third star to finish off uh, Weird Little Indies. And I hope you'll give this game a try. If you've played it before or if you want to play it, uh, let me know. Uh, I, I'm really curious to see, like, you know, do people, like, do people play this as much as, like, I love it? All right, we're going to prep some corn first. Go ahead and cook a turkey. And while that's going on, we can make our cranberry sauce. And let's upgrade our prep station and then we'll start serving people. So you can see I do my prep and I don't I don't worry about them so much. They don't all need their food super fast, you know? They can wait for a moment. Now I am waiting here, just so I can throw that in there. Put that in there. I'm gonna put this turkey over here so that I have easy access to basically come up here. Get some cranberries. Let's look over here. You just want, you want sauce too, okay. All right, let's get uh, another turkey going. Why? Because I have the time. Oh shoot, I don't have cranberry sauce ready. The serving timer goes down fast. You can see it got into the red there. Let's 
go ahead. I think this turkey is actually done. So you see this? I can actually just pop that there and it empties the trash for me. This is a really fun run. Uh, this would be a run I would be interested in keeping going. Okay, got all that done. All right, turkey with cranberry sauce. So I'm gonna make the cranberry sauce first. Nobody wants my corn today. I work so hard to make, I work hard to put corn on the table. You know what it's the end of the day but we'll still load this up so you might ask yourself like heck why aren't you using the freezer turkey i tend to especially early on hoard the freezer turkeys for emergencies that's my emergency turkey you know you know what we didn't do too bad right we got three stars so, as you can see, it's pretty awesome. Now, I don't think we're gonna get to the paintbrush. Uh, that's gonna be the next round, but now let's see. So there's meat soup uh, as a starter. It takes a lot of effort, but each batch will serve multiple customers. Or I can have steak as a main dish. Now notice on the bottom of the card, I only get 50 experience added for picking steak. It's the easier option for sure. Or Meat soup, which adds, you know, the meat soup, I get 15% less customers coming in the door and I get 100 XP. So they're trying to entice me to take the more difficult option here uh, just for balance. However, I do know it's a more difficult option. I'd rather cook steak. I would rather cook steak. Uh, there you go. We made 57 bucks off of our turkey now i want to show you something real quick before we before we even can get into uh well we're going to be leaving but i do still want to show you this frozen prep station because i think it's absolute i think it's absolute gold to have uh this thing is worth every penny if you ever get one you buy it we're going to put it right there. Now, what it does is it acts like a freezer, that freezer where I have the one full turkey. It acts like that freezer, except it holds four things. So I can make four sides of corn and just not worry about it anymore. Now I am, here's another trick I'll show. I'm going to try to get a safety hop again because it's good for automation. What I'm going to do now that I've made my decisions, I'm going to go into practice mode. Okay. And I'll actually, I'll use this to show you. Can you put trash in there? You sure can. Uh, okay. If I were to cook these. I can just put them right in there. And you can see each one will take up one slot. Very cool. Now, you can't mix things, right? Um, so you remember earlier I put the husk in can't do it it can only hold one type of thing each but still it's really cool uh well i didn't enter practice mode to show you that practice mode actually saves when you come out of it so it's all saved and ready for next time now when you leave you don't want to abandon that will just end the game immediately you want a quick game and then you can go back into it there you go. Oh no, I didn't plan for what happens when I quit game. Uh, you can, but you can go back into it basically and it will um, save your progress. You can just, there'll be a thing. I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you real quick. Why not? We're here. I'm loading up the game. Give me a moment. There it is. Are you gonna be able to see it with me being big? No. Go back into single player. Start. You can see recover save. So if I did that and I went back into it. 
it's going to take me right back into that restaurant. So there you go. That's it. You can see my prep station is there that I bought and the hob is in the, the thing. Anyways, listen, this has been um, weird little indies. Let me just get big here. Uh, let me just get big here. Uh, it's been weird little indies. Thank you for just uh, sort of coming along with me on this. It's a super raw, not very edited video just to show y'all one of my favorite indie games that came out last year played up. I'll put a link to it in Steam down below. Uh, and it's a great Yogscast game. Uh, leave a comment if you pick this game up or if you've played it and you like it. If you've got a game you think I should try out, especially a demo that's coming out soon, let me know in the comments too. I'm always looking forward to seeing what you all are looking to play. Thanks so much. And I'll talk to you next week for Weird Little Indies. Bye. Mwah.